what's up guys it's luca so today i'm going to be doing a q a and i thought it was about time for me to just answer some of your guys's questions if you're not following me on instagram twitter and snapchat i will link all of those down below if you want to go follow me on there and be a part of my next q a first question is what is your favorite video to film and i really like filming kind of like sit down comedy type videos i know that I'm not really like a comedian YouTuber exactly. But I'd rather make those type of videos than like try to sit down and make like a makeup video. So I don't know, let me know down below if you guys have been liking those videos. I'm gonna continue to do those just because I feel like I'm really being myself in those videos whereas where I'm like trying to sit down and like pretend to be a beauty guru, I'm just not myself. I don't know that much about makeup so why sit down and like try to be a beauty guru when I'm not? So the DIY punny Halloween costumes and I made a video how to get in the fall mood. It was like a really sarcastic video. So the next question is do your parents know about your YouTube? If so, what is their opinion on it? And yes, my parents, everybody knows about my YouTube. It's like really not something that you could keep a secret because it's like a really big part of my life, especially when we have to like go places to film. My parents are the ones that are filming it for me. So I'm not like really a teenager yet, so I can't like drive myself to places. So they're the ones that are driving me to places and helping me buy like my equipment and stuff like that. So really they're the reason that I can do YouTube. It wasn't something there where I just like started to do and they were like, like didn't know about it. It was something that I had to ask about. Ellie asked me advice. I want to become a vegetarian, but my dad says I'm too young and meat is necessary for me at the moment. But I really want to become one. What should I do? If vegetarianism is something that you're really passionate about, go for it. Keep trying to convince him because I think that if you're passionate about something, then you should at least give a really good try before you give up on it. I am really passionate about being a vegetarian and I know some people don't understand that especially maybe your dad doesn't get that what I would do is I would show him a video or a documentary about vegetarianism or what happens in the meat industry or if there was a video that you watched that really like changed your mindset I'm a vegetarian because the meat industry is absolutely terrible they treat the animals so bad a lot of people just don't really want to see that because meat is something that a lot of people just love and they rather just not have that thought of animals being hurt come into their mind. As I was talking about earlier, I watched a documentary called Food Inc. If your dad is worried about you not getting enough protein, which is in my situation, I have to get like a lot of protein since I'm an athlete. You can find protein in everything, even if you're like in the grocery store, just look at the can and see how much protein is in it. Like beans have a lot of protein and um, Greek yogurt does. They make like pasta with extra protein in it and it doesn't taste like funny or anything. I'm really glad that you wanna become a vegetarian and I would hate for your dad to tell you you can't. My friend Olivia says, what do you miss most about Colorado? And if you don't know, I just moved from Colorado about a year ago. It was very hard because I miss you, Olivia, and I miss everyone in Colorado so much, and that part of me will always be there, and I'll always have those memories, so I really miss the people there. One of my favorite memories is looking out in my house. We had these huge windows that were just gigantic. They were like twice the size of my house now. You could see like the mountain and it was all covered with snow. There were big pine trees all covered in snow and everything was just white. It was like straight out of a movie. I wish I had taken pictures of that, but I wasn't able to find any once you're like, you know when you're like living in your own house, you wouldn't really think to take a picture of your house. What is the last picture you took on your phone? So there's a challenge. I don't even know if it's a challenge, but I saw it somewhere on Instagram and it's absolutely hilarious. It's these people like throwing their phones and like taking a picture at the same time and it's like a phone in midair and it's like really funny so I tried it I put my phone on a timer that's my last picture I know it's just gold really have people ever told you you look like Aspen Ovard um yeah when I went to meet Aspen the lady that was like before I was about to meet Aspen told me that when I walked in she thought I was like her. she thought it was Aspen I was like oh like that's so sweet that's like the best compliment I've ever received so thank you she was like one of the ladies that worked there and she told me that she thought it was Aspen when I walked in what is the best thing about high school compared to middle school I absolutely hated middle school I love high school it's just so much more like 
independent. The teachers count on you to do your work. And it's just so much more like real life than middle school because the people in middle school just got on my nerves so much. I don't know what it was about middle school where just the people there were just so immature. How do people at school react to YouTube? I expect people to know about it because if they follow me on Instagram, then like in all caps, it literally says, watch my latest video. So be like, hey, like, did you know she has a YouTube channel? Like across the room, like literally, like I'm not kidding. It's not something that I'm ashamed of. And it's something that I've gotten a lot better at. Like, especially in high school, everyone just wants to talk about, I mean, putting yourself on the internet for like everyone to see is like something that people want to judge and they want to talk about. So I honestly wouldn't blame them if they were like talking about it, good or bad. I really expect that and I really don't care because it's something that I'm proud of and if they don't like it, then I honestly like 100% do not care. If they're talking about it, they're still talking about me. If you could change your name, what would you change it to? I would change my name. Well, I wouldn't change my name because I love my name. I get a lot of compliments on my name. I love having a unique name because I hate when other people have my name. There's just one kid in my science class this year that has the same name as me and I can't stand it. Like, I need to be the star of the show. And whenever I hear someone like say Luca and I look over and they're not talking to me, it's like, like, ow, like that hurts. But if I had to change my name, I would change it to Kara. I really like the name Kara, and I feel like that name could suit me. All right, I got two questions asking me to do this, and honestly, like, what do you expect from me? Like, you, you guys need to lower your expectations, because if you think I can dance, like, let alone do that whole stinking dance, like, I literally just learned how to do the whip, and you guys are expecting me to do, like, that full dance, like, like, honey, no. We're over here thinking that I can do some crazy dance, let alone I just learned how to do, like, the whip. Like, I got the whip down, I got the nay nay down, and that's about it. Like, what is your favorite song? I have, <laughs> I usually don't listen to rap songs, but the only, like, one of the rap songs that I've been loving is Fried Rice and Truffle Butter. I love those songs, and I can get down to those. Oh, my all-time favorite song is Talk by DJ Snake. It just has, like, such good vibes in it, and I love it. All My Friends by Snake Hips. I really like the song Something About You by Hayden James. It just gives me all the feels. And my all-time favorite song, or at least, like, the best song, is Odessa, Say My Name. And it, it was the first song in my very first video and it gives me like whenever i listen to that song it just gives me most like it just it reminds me i know this is gonna sound really cheesy but it reminds me of when i started my youtube channel and reminds me of the feeling that i was pursuing like something that i have always wanted to do and whenever i watch my first video it just reminds me of all the feelings i had of oh my gosh i'm actually like doing something that could be like turned into something really big. I really felt like going into it that my YouTube channel was going to be successful because I really wasn't giving myself any option for it not to be successful. I was like, this has been my dream ever since I started watching YouTube. Here, I'll just play it right now. Shout out, Luca? Question mark, question mark. Wow, Chippy, gotta give it to you. Always thirsty. <laughs> Go follow her. She's gonna be in the Olympics, guys, so, like, catch her while she's fresh. I'm actually just coming back because I filmed for 20 minutes and my camera stopped recording, probably because it was, like, hey, she's, like, been filming for 20 minutes, like, we're just gonna go now, so my camera kind of peaced out on me. I love you guys so much, and thank you for all the sweet questions. I never forget you, and I love you so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Oh, my baby. Oh, my baby.